What is up, everybody? This is your boy back at it again with another video. And um, what's cool about what we do here is we react to everything. But lately, it's been a lot of German stuff. So uh, we're going to be covering a video that's off of Haley Alexis's page. Go follow her if you haven't already. Um, the differences in Germany for an American. Um, I plan on traveling to Germany very soon. And I kind of want to know as much as I can and ingest as much as I can as about the language, culture, everything. And you guys have been very good about helping me out. If you guys want to help me out further, you can go ahead and join my Discord and send me messages about your experiences in Germany. And if a lot of the videos I've been watching are accurate, and if you have better videos for me to watch, you can go ahead and send them my way. But anyways, we have the differences in Germany for an American uh, made by Haley Alexis. And we're going to go ahead and check this out and see how accurate this is. If you guys have not already, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. And let's go ahead and watch this video and see exactly what she has to say. And uh, if I have my thoughts and feelings on it as well as I watch this. I've been sleeping with Mike for three years now. I'm used to having him by my side. So when I have to sleep on an uncomfortable bed with no shots, next to me with his cold, scratchy feet, I'm really sad and scared sometimes. <laughs> Cultural differences, that's funny. Hey everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Did not know, now you do. How are you doing? So I have my breasts out. Everyone gets so upset when I have my boobs out and I always have to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually have a legitimate reason this time for my boobs being out and it's because I have no clean clothing. If you hear something beeping in the background, that is the oh, washing shit, machine. Man. The clothes washer, washing machine. The washer, no something that washes the clothing. Yeah, that's that beeping that my clothes are clean. I have literally nothing to wear. I have a rain jacket and a fake fur mantle which i'm not gonna put that on for you right now it's really <laughs> hot actually in today's video i'm gonna be talking about weird things that they do in the united states or things i'm not used to i don't even know what the title of this video is going to be I'm talking about my hands i'm a crap but when i start <laughs> speaking about the point you'll understand what i'm talking about so yeah yeah i'm trying to think of what else i can tell you but there's nothing really interesting happening right now my mom's coming in a week you guys can send me recommendations of things to do with her i'd greatly appreciate it other than that i guess it's time Time to get right into it. Ah, da, 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 da. I almost forgot. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free. <laughs> Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. <sighs> It's double free. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment. You want to know why? Because it's triple free. free. The first Yay. thing you guys, when I first got to Germany, I went to a restaurant. I would sit there and wait for someone to bring my check. But that never happened. I always had to wait or wait for the person or wait till they come back after like me sitting there for 30 minutes. Like, are you okay? And they're not knowing that I'm American and that I have no idea what their payment system is. So yeah. I'm just like, yeah, I'm fine. I just want to go. Well, you can pay. You just to say something i'm like ah when you pay uh, in germany you don't get that weird folder that you usually do in the united states uh, to put your like card and money in i mean some okay, places okay, you okay. get a little folder and you can put money inside and they bring you money back but when it comes to paying with a card they bring a the little machine to your table that's dope and then you have to like stick in the card yourself or they stick it in whatever it is and usually you put in your geheimzad and then you call it a day now the one that's cool. interesting thing about this which now i think about it as a server because i was a waitress you guys most of the time when the person takes the card, the credit card, debit card, EC card, so whatever kind of card it is, and they swipe it at the um, cashier kiosk little thing, the check is technically still opened until you close it. You, me, I close it. Not oh. the person paying for the meal, not anybody else, either myself or the manager. Okay, and I mean? usually never close checks and everybody else that I knew that was a server never closed the check until after like our shift so let's say i went to work at five o'clock at night my shift did not end until two o'clock in the morning sometimes so that whole check of someone eating at five o'clock would not be closed until two o'clock in the morning oh, and shit. i could technically add as much money as i wanted as a tip i never did that you guys i promise i never did but i always find Yo, it very interesting that in germany you close up. it exactly like you have no trust for these people as that exactly when you pay for it and that's in the nice. united states we give these people as much trust as we possibly want and which is can. messed up and hope for the best you know if there's an extra twenty dollar tip huh. when you go out to eat you're never checking one thousand percent on your bank statement the next day or three days later to see when did i eat at hooters for fifty dollars did i leave her a six dollar tip to make it 44 to 50 hmm, i don't remember but i'm pretty sure that's right the next point is going to be that i'm okay with drinking before 
lunchtime. And I think this is a Bavarian thing that Bavarians, they drink beer sometimes in the morning. Wow. Not even in the morning, <laughs> That's like ballsy. right before afternoon, and it's fine. Also, when I'm going out, like walking in the city and there's really nice weather, if you walk anywhere that has an outside area for food and drinks, people would be drinking in the daytime. I remember I went to the beach, and I went to the bar at the beach, and it was like 11.50. And I was standing there, and the bar was not opened. And I'm looking like, hmm? and the bartender's looking at me. He said, do you want something to eat? I was like, no, I want to drink. He's like, yeah, but it's not like noon or one yet. And I'm like, is that wrong? Is that bad? I mean, he's like, usually people don't drink this early. And I was like, oh, well, if I drink now, I go to sleep earlier and I get a good night's rest. He's just looking at me as always these awkward situations with myself. Like, can I get a Hellas? <laughs> can I get a Rathla? And they're like, it's 11 o'clock. I was like, oh, well, no one knows. If a tree falls in the woods and makes sound, does anybody hear it? If I'm drinking at 11 o'clock and nobody sees it, does it make me an alcoholic? Oh my God, bro. Does it make me German? Good question to ask and to find out because Ugh. The way that I am judged in the United States about my alcoholism, which I am not an alcoholic, you guys. I just enjoy alcohol, which is something an alcoholic would, would say. say. Yeah. <laughs> the next point is going to be that cheese is so expensive in the United States. I have a favorite cheese, and I feel like everybody has their favorite type Extra of cheese. Extra sharp cheddar you know, cheese. If you're American, you like cheddar or American, the nasty stuff that has no flavor. That's not Extra mystic, sharp big, cheddar has flavor. Big and all that good stuff. You have no idea what you're missing out of on the wonderful cheese in the United States. Not in the United States. <laughs> I don't mind it. Cheddar right. In cheddar right. I have my favorite cheese, and it's not German cheese. I just like the cheese. They sell it here in Germany, and it's called, I'm going to mess it up. I already know I'm gonna mess it up because when I go to the place to order my cheese, the lady's like, what are you saying? And I'm like, ah, gruyere, gruyere, gruyere. gruyere. So I'll, pr I'll write it somewhere here. Gruyere, so gruyere, what I'm talking gruyere. About. But this is my favorite cheese in the whole entire world. They have this cheese in the United States. I also like Alpenzella cheese and they also have this in the United States. But I remember that I wanted to buy a little block about this big, this thin. Do y'all know how much it costs? at Publix for this damn cheese. Twelve dollars. Almost ten euros. Ten for this. You know how much I pay for a little block like this? Probably like five Bruh. bucks at the little at 80 cut down there. I remember I tried to get out and sell off and it was like fifteen. She said public, somebody that's out in store. Florida. That's and what I was I meant. like <gasps> So now I understand why people in the United States eat American cheese, cheddar cheese willingly, freely as a choice, as an option, is because they can't afford any other cheese. I have very expensive champagne taste on a beer or water budget. I, I always feel bad because our palates in the US, they're damaged by this. The cheese inflation, the cheese tax needs to be lowered for us <laughs> so we have a better palate and a better understanding of what delicious food is in the United yes, States. Yes, I agree. I love cheese so much. Cheese the next good. point is also, it's a little bit more serious, I guess. It's not funny. It's not as funny as cheese, but we can try to make it a joke. Kids in Germany, Europe altogether, are a lot more independent when it comes to going home. So one time I took the bus and I- Uh-oh. If you manage a team, you have to try Monday.com. Monday.com is a platform to track I saw this little kid, probably around seven-ish, I'm assuming he was seven. I don't know his exact age, he could have been younger, he could have been older. And he got on the bus by himself, sat by himself, got off by himself, and I got off at the same stop at him. You guys probably think I'm a creep and that I was just following him to see where he was going, but I promise you I lived on the same street as this kid. Oh, okay. He just walked home, went to his building, took out his little key in his backpack. But the thing is, in Chicago it's the same way. Little kids take the bus by themselves all the time. Like, I'd start taking the bus by myself and I was like 10 like the bus and the train without my parents or anything I mean, it's normal I mean I just feel like it just depends on where you grew up because if you're in a smaller town then it's not common to see kids travel by themselves like at all that's kind of weird but in big cities I feel like it's a lot more common went in the lock opened the whole door to the apartment complex and I was honestly shocked and then I started realizing I guess I had it in my mind so then I started noticing it more often I saw kids walking alone on the street by themselves home and the thing also to remember is that these forms of transportation were not provided by the government the school or the state well the government for life because they're maybe subsidized by the government I don't know the exact story behind that yeah, but they weren't provided by the school explicitly 
basically I should say they weren't provided by the school. When I tell people in the United States that little kids go by themselves walking everywhere and going home on the bus and the tram that's not provided like by I the said, school. Like I said, you gotta you gotta think about where she's asking these people from the United States because she's from Florida and Florida is like very spread out. So a lot of people who go to school typically get driven to school by their parents or they like you know in their teens they drive themselves to school. But I grew up in Chicago and we had a very elaborate transportation system very elaborate so kids were taking the transportation system by themselves too so a lot of times you'd see their kids with their kids with their parents but there's more common than not a lot of kids would be by themselves as well so i mean it just depends it's shocking we have a culture in the united states i don't want to say pedophilia because then i feel like i'm going to get a lot of hate and it's not meant as the united states as a whole but we have a very big group of people that prey on little children and oh, want to kidnap, true, sex traffic, and all that good stuff to little kids. And one of the biggest and easiest ways to do that in the United States is wait for them to get dropped off by the bus at a bus stop where nobody's watching and just snatch them up while they walk home. And I think it goes to show us society, how we are as a whole. In the United States, um, we're very fearful of everything, of everything bad happening, only because it happens often or it's something that we've heard about in the news, we see on TV. In Germany, it doesn't really happen that often. Sometimes, yes, but not as often as in the United States. And the next and final point, you guys, which is very interesting or was very interesting for me, was that kids were allowed to sleep in the same bed with their significant other. Y'all, I'm 27 years old. When my wait, 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 kids? are allowed to sleep in bed with their significant other. You need to be specific. What age? Is it me? He's not allowed to sleep in the same bed with me. Y'all think I'm joking? I am not. Not even in the same room. Now, when I go home, what do Mike and I do? When my mom goes to work, I go and snuggle myself right in the bed with Mike because I'm just like, first of all, I don't like sleeping by myself. I've been sleeping with Mike for three years now. I'm used to having him by my side. So when I have to sleep on an uncomfortable bed with no shots he next to me with his cold scratchy feet i'm really sad and scared sometimes it's just weird that i saw such young kids or like 18 year olds going on vacation together and whatnot and they're they're 18 that's a legal adult that's a legal adult that's an adult that's not a kid parents being completely okay with it and them sleeping in the same bed my mom would probably shit a gold brick you guys if this happened other than that you guys that's about it i hope you guys have a wonderful day i hope you got a laugh out of this video if not i'm sorry i tried my best then you might as well go find someone else to entertain you because it's just not for you i'm just not your cup of tea but that was a good I, I love her videos actually very 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 informative but I definitely agree with a lot of that stuff I do feel like a lot of what she was talking about though just happens to be um, as far as like when she was referencing like you know her experience I'm pretty sure she's from Florida and like I said Florida is very spread out so the culture here is way different than um, other places I've lived in like I've lived in Chicago I've lived in Arizona I've lived in Texas Mississippi Detroit and I've lived here you know and then I've also lived overseas in Korea and I've also lived in California. Uh, what else? Where else have I lived? I've lived in a lot of places. But all I'm saying is collectively, it just depends on where you are in your environment as far as like the independence of what the kids can do and what they can't do. Obviously, I do agree with what she says. There is a culture out here where we genu genuinely are afraid of a lot of things because mass shootings, ha mass shootings happen all the time. Rapes happen all the time. Kidnappings happen all the time. Sex trafficking of children happens all the time. Uh, child predators are all over the place. Like it, we, we live in a society where, I mean, it, it, it almost seems like no one's safe, you know? So it, uh, Americans are very fearful in general of bad things happening. So they kind of take a lot of precautions and whatnot um, to an extent. And yet a lot of stuff still happens. But I do agree with what, a lot of what she was saying as far as, uh, you know, how uh, the American side of things here. But some of it I didn't because I'm like, it just depends on where you are. Like where she is, like she's like, oh, I told my friends about it. And they're like, oh, we're shocked. But they were shocked because in Florida, like everything's very spread out. Like I said, and like, it's more common to, to, to be with a lot more people and them drive you places and this, that, the other than, than not. But anyways, uh, like I said, I did learn a lot from this video as far as the German side of things goes. And that was my whole purpose of checking this out. If you guys have uh, any 
uh, additional information that you want to like you know fork over my way and teach me or whatever please feel free to do so in the comments down below I am listening 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 uh, and I'm, I'm here you know so uh, like comment subscribe turn your post notifications and we'll kind of go from there follow me on discord or like follow my discord follow my Instagram if you want to reach out to me and have a conversation uh, there about whatever you guys are going through uh, or what life is like out there and stuff because I'm very curious and um, I love the fact that you guys love me making this kind of content for you guys because it's this is teaching me. This is how we currently learn in um, uh, in our, our current society. You know, we watch a lot of videos. We uh, we ingest information so we can go into any kind of situation prepared. So I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And um, until the next time I see you guys again, take care. Peace.